right. Welcome back. Hope you guys enjoyed Play Dead. Hope you guys enjoyed our, our guest segment with our friends from the Borscht Film Festival. Go to borscht.com info to check out more information about the film festival including where to see some of the some of the shows coming up um, now we get to now we get to move into one of my favorite segments of the show this is where we get to review cameras and today rather than just having one camera we, we've actually got both I've got an angel and a devil on my shoulder right so everybody wants to know number one how can I get one of these cameras and number two how do I choose between them what are the two hottest cameras right now well we've got Sony's uh, Panasonic's AGAF 100 micro four thirds inch camera with all kinds of lens mounts, and we've got Sony's PMW F3, famously upgradable as of April to a 444 output. Right. So um, tonight's technology camera segment is going to be helping you decide which camera is right for you. And I'd like to first start uh, this segment. We'd like to open it up with a question coming in from the internet. Uh, let's go. Jesse Gaston asks. Uh, does it record in XD Cam HD 35 megabit or 50 megabit? Gaston, I'm very happy that you're watching the show. Thank you for asking your question. The question is, does it record in 35 or 50 megabits per second? And the answer, it sounds like you're asking about the XD Cam camera, the Sony F3. The answer is, internally to the S by S cards, 35 megabits per second only. So it's just uh, to the same recording system as an EX3 or an EX1, right? 35 megabits per second maximum. However, you do have the benefit of the full frame 35 mil, uh, super 35 millimeter chip. All right, hopefully that will answer your question, Gaston. Um, one thing I should mention at this point, um, there, are, there are two ways to come out of the camera. And in fact, that's how, we're going to, that's how we're going to start off the comparison. Number one, inside this Sony F3, you can record at a maximum bit rate of 35 megabits per second. That's Sony's XDCAM EX codec. It's a 420 color space. All right, over here on the Panasonic side, you're also you are recording internally. Maximum bit rate, 24 megabits per second. 24 megabits per second, also 420. All right, on the Panasonic side, you're recording on SDHC cards. Now, you do have to get class 6 or class 10, very high uh, record rate SDHC cards, but they're still going to be a little bit less expensive than Sony's S by S cards. However, you can always get Sony's uh, S uh, SDHC adapter, right, and replace your expensive S by S cards with several less expensive SDHC cards at the expense of your overcrank and undercrank functionality. All right, which brings us to our next question: What are the overcrank and undercrank functionalities of these two cameras? Sony PMW F3. All right, retailing for thirteen thousand three hundred dollars for the body only, or eighteen thousand nine hundred and fifty. 19,850, just under 20 grand for the PMW F3 with three prime lenses, right? That's coming with a 35, a 50, and an 85 millimeter PL mount lens. Pretty awesome. All right. <laughs> uh, what question were we on, Jose? I got, I got distracted there. I'm not really. I'm not interested in that camera. XD Cam HD 35 megabit. Overcrank and undercrank was, is, is the answer to that question. On the Sony, you've got to change your settings to 720p. 720p to get slow motion. Why is that? In order to record at 60 frames progressive, you've got to be in 1280 by 720. If you change your format to 1920 by 1080, your maximum record frame rate is 30 frames per second, so you've got nothing left to overcrank. To get slow motion out of the Sony PMW F3, you've got to change it to 720 and either 24 or 30. This way, you can crank it up to 60. Now, this is one advantage that the uh, less expensive AF100 4795 without a lens actually has over the Sony F3. You can leave the camera in 1080p, crank it up to 60 while you're doing a, a playback at 24, and get better than 50% slow motion in 1920 by 1080, which is, which is a first among cameras of this size. 